On the snow-covered lava at Craters of the Moon, a group of 10-year-olds are about to adapt to a new environment. How do you put your foot in? You have to push really hard. With snowshoes, these kids can walk on snow, and now they can trail behind Douglas Owen to discover how plants That's and animals walk. have adapted to survive here. You're here on one of the harshest environments on the planet, and yet we have 800 species of plants here in the park. We've got 60 mammals, got 10 reptiles, four amphibians, 220 species of birds. Under a winter sky, the land appears vacant, yet students find clues they are not alone. We've got some little tracks here, not much of a tail drag to speak of. Hopefully registers in their head that, wow, you know, I may be crossing the snow, but there could be life under my feet right now. So possibly a vole. The students get it. To understand the natural world, you need to go outside. Out here, you actually get to see and learn and be there to witness it. It's like a hands-on experience, you know. You can like see how everything works. Snowshoes made today's discoveries possible. But they are also part of the adventure. Try tracking and trailing. See which is more work. It's a new experience. And hopefully it's one that will, you know, resonate with them and, and get them to go out and get some exercise, get some clean, fresh air in their lungs. That is so cool. And hopefully ultimately want to, you know, protect it so it's there for, for future generations. For Be Outside, I'm Michael Keckler.